Okay, this is sacrilegious, okay? Every time I say this, I will like, I will get a lot of hate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spill it. But I don't like Batong. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vera from Sefli.com and welcome to another episode of Eating Out. So for today, I'm meeting uh, one of our colleagues, Coralie. Hi. Where are we going today? Uh, we are going to this cafe called Cream and Can Show that's along Kampong Baru Road. Alright, let's, let's go. go. Actually opened quite recently, and it's uh, along uh, where is it? Kampong Baru, Kampong Baru, Road. Kampong Baru yes. Road. Yeah, and it's it's very nice, it's very spacious. There's a lot of natural light coming in. Honestly, right, it's like my dream home aesthetic, lah. Yeah, it's uh, very modern, right? Yeah. And like, I see like there's a lot of people like um, doing work over here using their laptop. So like the whole vibe is very cozy, like as what Vera mentioned, and it's very chill. You can sit back and relax. Yeah. So um, we have a huge spread, which we've been waiting very long to eat. So this one is the Sakura Ebi Cappellini and it's topped with Ikura as you can see. Wow, I really love the plating though. It's yeah. very nice. This dish is actually quite fragrant. Like the moment it hit the table, you can smell it already. Mm. Is it good? Mm. The layer like really has a punch to it. Yeah, I was just gonna right? say that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've tried quite a number of Capellini dishes before. It's very uninspiring usually because there's always like truffle. But I feel like the layo brings a very like fresh perspective to this. Alright, yes. Dish, which is great because I love chili. Like I want to be slapped in the face by the chili, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, let's move on to our next dish. We will try this. Okay. Salmon avocado, right? That's yeah. the name for it. Salmon and avocado. Yeah. You should go first. Okay. Yes, go for the first. The avocado is a bit um a bit lost. Like you need to find it. So, there it is. I remember Gordon Ramsay saying that everything on the dish has to be able, be able to be eaten together. If not, it shouldn't belong on the dish. Or it doesn't make sense. Wow. This is a very big bite, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What are you? An idiot sandwich. Was that very gross? <laughs> you, want, you want to begin? <laughs> I feel like the flavours are quite balanced. The avocado has a tinge of um, tanginess, which I feel really helps to balance the whole dish all together. Yes. Yeah, it's good, but it's a lot of like mixture of flavours. Right? Right? It's a lot of things. Yeah, like yeah, you have to process and like feel and taste like really what is it individually. I think I put too much of the avocado and the sauce, and I left out the salmon. So like I kind of have to try it again. That's just an excuse yeah. for me to go another mouth. Alright, now we are at our third dish, the bachomi. This one's a little bit special. This one is the K&K bachomi. So this one is only available on weekdays during lunch time. This is very interesting because as we, uh, I know like their menu are Japanese inspired, right? Yeah, it's actually made of Tokyo ramen. And then uh, there's also pulled pork. Then there's uh, broccolini and of course an onsen egg uh, to top it off on the side. Where do you think, in your opinion, is the best bar top? Oh, 302 Chatagang Food House. Oh, okay, yeah. that's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that's a go to such a specific answer. Yes, okay. that's, that's a like, go-to spot for the Westie. Okay. How about you? Okay, this is sacrilegious, okay? Every time I say this, I will, like, I will get a lot of hate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spill it. But I don't like bar <laughs> Yeah, Can I'm a Singaporean. Cancel? I'm a Singaporean who doesn't like bar tommy. Fight me. Cancel. Cancel. I'm very excited for reaction to see if she has a change of opinion of bar tommy. I like it, but this because it doesn't taste like bar tommy. <laughs> Does bar tommy usually have egg? Yeah, because I was about to say like I feel that it's very interesting that they borrow elements of bar tommy. What is the type that goes on the bar tommy? Oh, you're not a real bar tommy lover. <laughs> I caught I'm her. Processing. I'm processing. <laughs> is it Kailan? Uh, this is a grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup. So I've been craving grilled cheese sandwich for the, like, the longest time. Really? So I'm very excited for okay, this. Try it. Okay. Okay, processing. <laughs> Still rendering. Still rendering. Yeah. Um, 
I think it's quite a good combination together. Like, cause the, the, at the first bite, right, the tomato hits you like immediately, which is great. And then like slowly the cheese uh, comes like, as an afterthought. Yeah. I also have something, um, another sacrilegious thing to say. Oh my God. Did you prepare for it? <laughs> Serious? So I don't eat anything that has um, tomato sauce in it. Okay, I, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know if I should say it. Um, please edit it out if you think it's not appropriate. But then, you know, if I eat hot pot like shabu shabu, like shin like that, yeah. the pork belly, I will pair it with like ketchup. And I will ketchup? Okay, I'm going to take a small bite. The first thing that hits you is the tomato paste. And then the second thing straight up is the cheese. Yeah. Right? It's like you have to feel the thickness of the cheese inside this sandwich. The bread is very crispy as well. Okay, even though I don't like tomato, I'm still fair, okay? So, I like uh, how the tanginess of the tomato soup really helps to balance out and cuts through the cheese. You know, I feel like it can be quite heavy quite fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, true. yeah, that's great. Agree, yes. I was going to say we, we missed out on the pickles. Oh. Do you all like pickles? No. Okay. This is the ricotta and lavender. Toast. They've scattered um, lavender petals around the, the top, which is really like fancy schmancy. Okay. Oh you missed the grape! Oh <laughs> my god. Nice? Yeah. Okay, so when you have put the first bite of the toast together with everything else, it's delicious! So have you tried? No. Definitely the flavour profile of this is quite complex. Mm. I, I kind of felt like I was biting to a candle, but in a good way. Candle? <laughs> yeah, because the lavender scent is very strong. Mm. Yeah. yeah okay, yes, so that gives that the like a sort of perfumey fragrance. Yeah, but then the, the grapes also provide like a great sweetness. And also the matcha powder is what really seals the deal for me. It's very crispy as well. Like when you bite it, you can like feel the crunch yeah, together right. with the topping and everything. Perfect, yeah. So this is the K and K milk tea, but there's no milk inside. Oh wow! Yeah, instead, right, uh, it's a brown sugar concoction, mm -hmm. and then uh, there's cream on top. Ooh. How is it? How is it? Okay. okay. Oh, but it's very confusing. Yeah. But it really doesn't taste like milk tea at all. Oh, and in fact, it's not like any sweet. Okay, I know like our editors, Zai and Wani, they're, they're get, gonna get a fit when they hear us say this, but it's not so sweet. For those that don't really like, like um, feel that milk tea is too sweet, this will be an option for you. Okay, so we're actually down to the last item here. So this is the kombu fries. So it has a truffle paste and pickled mayo. With the, that's the sauce. Yeah. So yeah, let's go for it. When the, the fries first arrived at the table, it was like for a good 10 minutes, it was the only thing we could smell because the kombu was so fragrant. Yeah, and I really feel that it doesn't disappoint when you actually bite into it. Yeah, I would say if you're here for a drink, because uh, Cream and Casual does have uh, wine and uh, some Japanese beer, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so if you're here for drinks with friends, I would say this would make for a very great tapas. Yeah, definitely. And it's so addictive, like you can just keep popping it. Okay, so we just finished our meal at Cream and Casual. Mm -hmm. And so, what are your thoughts? Uh, overall, I find the place is really chill. A um, modern interior that I really like and then the ambience is great if you want to find a spot to chill out and relax that's a spot you can go like a cafe spot you can go mm. but um, it's just that even it's too crowded it's very noisy like when you have to talk to your partners uh, over the table then you have to kind of like raise your voice a little uh, it's definitely a work in progress because I know like the owner Charmaine she did mention to me also that they are looking to expand the menu mm. so it's going to be twice the number of things they have on their menu currently which is very exciting. Mm. So I think that it has a lot of potential to be really great. Yes. And some of the elements of the dishes, they really do um, stand out and I really enjoy some of them. Mm. And yeah, I think I will come back for like a, like a chill session. Yeah, definitely. Me too. Yeah.